Hey everyone, Charlie here. Today's project is to fix our refrigerator. So we have a General Electric fridge. I can show you the uh, model number here. It's uh, right here, PYE23PSDCSS. Um, it's one of the French door ones with the little screen on the outside. Um, good refrigerator. Uh, but the issue that I have is that I believe the evaporator fan, the one that is right here behind that cover and stuff, uh, that went kaput. And um, basically, uh, what happened was, a few days ago I noticed that the, uh, the water wasn't coming out and it turned out that it was kind of frozen. Um, and I think basically it was having issues moving the air around inside there. And then, so I, I defrosted it um, by, by using like a hair dryer, kind of melting the things and leaving the doors open and turning the cooling system off and stuff. Water started working out, it was fine. So basically the, the pipes, the, the water tubes inside the, inside the refrigerator had frozen. But after that I noticed that it was very cold. And I got some butter out and the butter was soft and I checked and sure enough, uh, the refrigerator was running at like 50 some degrees. Whereas the freezer was fine and this little cooling area here was fine. So upon further research, uh, the likely culprit apparently is that the evaporator fan here, just behind here, uh, basically went kaput. And so that can be replaced. So I ordered one, it's coming later tonight. So right now I'm going to just clean everything out. Uh, it's a good chance, good time to uh, kind of you know, clean out the whole fridge, top to bottom. Uh, and uh, then when the evaporator fan comes, it should be hopefully a simple replacement back behind here. You have to take this out, take the two side rails out, take the back cover off, pop that off, and then there should, and then take that off. And you should find that there's uh, somewhere in here. A little fan it's a square fan and it just plugs right in um, what I, I I left it unplugged for the last couple days or so just to make sure it all defrosts because I know that it can ice up especially it can ice up when the uh, the fan does not push the cold air up so again this was cold um, and if you look back behind here there's a you know there's a, a fan that blows uh, or a vent that blows the cold air in here this was cold in fact it was icy it was colder than it probably should have been this was nice and cold, but the top was just not having any air come into it. It wasn't pushing the air. So I think it's the evaporator fan. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to fix that. All right, it's all clean. Nice and clean, clean. Um, I just have to undo this, this, and then basically whatever other screws and whatnots I can find. that are hidden behind there. Ew. I thought it was all clean. Time to clean some more. We'll disconnect this one right here and we'll be able to take that off. Just have to disconnect this. Pull out by hand. It just comes right out here. And we're left with this. All right, this is what it looks like when you get everything out. So more stuff to clean. The more you pull off, the more you find to clean. To undo this, and is that the only one? It might be the only one. One on each side. slides right out. So let me show you how you do that. It's one little screw thing, so I undid it here. It's out. So what you do is 
basically this thing slides in. You can kind of see this. You have to like slide it to the back, so just straight back. So, oops. There you go, just like that. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Now I want to get rid of these. That's one, two, three, four, and then as you can just pry off. There you go. Five. Five of them. one hand here. So I don't even need to take the rest of that off. So you can see back here is the condensing coils. Mine are defrosted. That's the fan. It doesn't work. So let's double check it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on the cooling system. Turn on the cooling system. We'll just do a quick test and see if this thing works. Cooling system on. All right, now. What I'll do is I'll trick the uh, refrigerator. You should be able to hear it come on here soon. I'll trick the refrigerator into thinking that I have the doors closed by closing one of them and then hitting the little button up here. Might take a little bit for the thing to kick back on. Yeah, I turned on tur turbo cool mode as well. And it does seem like uh, it's not really, it's not going. The other stuff going is flowing. I think the ice filter might be off. I don't think that it is running. Damn that is. Yep. Here is the fan thing. I'm gonna take this out. I undo this here. Just pull. Nope. Oh, I might have to pull these back on the sides and pull. I have to do this with both hands. You know, every night for five years. Yeah, you just kind of squeeze the back of it. Or no, squeeze the front of it, sorry. Squeeze the front of it and it comes right off like that. Then you can get these wires out from under these, this little whoop de doo thing and pull this out. This should just come straight out. So, there we go. This is what we've got here. Now there's a piece of a, so if you look on the edge, 
There's a, a like rubber, kind of like a plastic rubber thing. Just take it off. All right, so there's rubber on the outside of this thing, it just slots right into there. Take the rubber off, you have to reuse that for the new one. All right, so how do I get this thing off without breaking? Oh, this thing. best to take it off the bottom because there's like a little, uh, what should we call it there? So let's keep it the same direction. It comes off just like this. Perfect. That's pretty rough spinning. Probably the problem here. Just put a new one in and it'll fix the problem up. Here's the part. All right, so this one spins freely, the other one does not. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stick this. Let's unwrap, unravel this a bit. Let's see what I got in here. Let's move you guys around. Unwrap this. Oh, shoot, let's open this up here. Unravel this. There we go. This is gonna come out this way. It goes in just like this, I think. If this side comes out. Stick this in just straight like this. Yep, just gonna slide this in. Goes in something like this. Possible I have this on backwards, but I'll figure it out. I guess my line up here. Oh wait, maybe I have it on backwards. This is where the wires come out. Hmm. Is this correct? Hmm. And we'll see if it fits. It doesn't go in, and I must have it on the wrong way. This is the old one. This doesn't spin very well at all. It kind of spins and it gets caught. This one spins freely. But how does this go in? This one and then with this side coming up here. It's like this, the night echo logo facing in the right. I think that's right there. I think so. And we'll see if it goes in. Be just like that. Let's go in here. And let's get fed up into here. So, and out of the way. And get them into that little hook thing. There's a little hook here, just kind of feeding them through this hook. plugged in one of two ways. Let's see, these have pins. Probably only goes in one way. Yep, only goes in this way. Click in. Should be good to go. Alright, now let's see if we can get this to work. I'm going to turn it back on. Oh, I can feel it. It is going. I 
have it the right way? Do I feel the air? It feels like it's pointing the air down. Is that the way it's supposed to be blowing it? I can feel the air coming at the bottom. Hmm. I have it in backwards. I'm going to take it out and in the correct direction. I put it upside down. I felt the air blowing down. It's supposed to suck it up. Let's try this again. This time, doing it properly. Do it properly, Charlie. You can kind of do a quick test. If this air is blowing down, that means it's backwards. So, just take this out again, take this out again, easy peasy, pull it out. So I got it in the right way now. Well, almost. I'm going, getting it. Uh, the key is there's two plastic tabs. All right, so I'm putting in a better way now, the right way. Uh, so you want to have these two tabs down and also the two tabs here on the actual fan down in the same spot. It's just kind of this. Uh, what's the best way to do this here? Yes, just put it on like this. The two tabs slide into each other, basically. I had it in the funky way. So, this gives us room to get the cords out, and these two tabs slide in just like so. So you have the tab here, you have the tab here. Plastic and, well, the rubber and the plastic on both sides, and then it nicely comes out there. Then, you can slide it in. Let's see if I can get a good image of it here. So, let's see if I can get a good image here. So basically, again, you got rubber and plastic tab, rubber and plastic tab, they line up. And there's a little hole here for the wires to come out. Nope, I don't think I, just so you can see. So you have a rubber and plastic tab here, and one on the other side, rubber and plastic tab there. And a little hole for the wires to come out. Then you can stick it right in. Just go right in there, and the plastic tabs, as you can kind of see, slide into the bottom holes under the styrofoam. And we can hook it all back up again. So feed these things through. And this is a little bit more challenging. This little loop. Get the wires through. Keep it out of the way. Pull them through without breaking them, hopefully. There you go. And then, over here, I can just go and... Uh, Plug it in. It only goes in one way. See, the shapes are such that it'll only plug in one way and then click both. And I can feel it sucking the air now. I should be able to feel it coming out somewhere. Where does this come out? Well, oh, it's coming out the top. I can feel it. So, now all we gotta do is just reattach everything and we'll be good to go. I put it upside down, it's blowing the air the wrong way, but now it's coming out, I can feel it come out the top. So what I can do is I can start this back up. Ice maker on, cooling system on.
specific little hole in there. Interesting. Really just right through that hole, huh? Also just spin freely. Come on, get in there. Let's try again. I just drop it in. I can get it. There we go. I'm gonna hold it in with this. I slide this part in. Get it, line it up. Pop it over and then Zip, zip, and we're good. Same thing for the other side. So for this piece, we're gonna have to do the exact reconnect these wires like we did. Just like we just connected them earlier. These also only go in one direction, it looks like. Uh, let's see if I'm doing the right direction. I think I am. Maybe not. There we go. Quick. Yeah, looks like we've got some power here, so we're doing good. Stuff it down the hole. Stuff it down the hole. That's good. Stuff it down the hole. We got light too. Look at this light just came on. Stuff it down the hole. Close it down the hole. So. And oh, hard to do this with a camera on one hand, but stuff the wires down on one side. Stop. 
Oh, found an error here. Look. I screwed this up. This is supposed to go on after I put this on. I put it on first. I have to undo those and redo them again. All right, got it lined up better now. We're all back together again. Cold air's coming out the top. It's working. <laughs>